first time. Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Good, solid right hand by Andre Bishop. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. So the young unbeaten Andre Bishop gets another one of these opponents who his trainer, Gus Carisi, feels very confident that they can shine against. Well, his brain trust is very smart. It's not enough for him to be only efficient as a fighter. They want him to be exciting. Cuz the model, my mentor, he created the... Solid shot to left. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have Move. good habits. Look at that. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. Kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's <laughs> that all? We welcome you to Atlantic City's board. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's gonna try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. That's an impactful right hand by Andre Bishop. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters? He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. Bishop's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Now he's targeting upstairs. You see the movement by Andre Bishop, and it's really paying off. Able to avoid that left hook. What a big shot. Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. Hurry, get up. What will happen now with Andre Bishop as he rises up to fight on after being floored? Parries that punch intended for the head. Look at that. Smart veteran move. Hurt, so you hug. Exactly what the doctor ordered. 
Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. How about a return to sender with the left hand? So now we see the first hurdle to overcome for the unbeaten Andre Bishop in his career. Keyshawn Hayes got to him in that first round with a solid left hook. Well, now he has to show that he can adjust on the fly. I would be telling him if I'm in the corner, move to your left, your own left side, away from that power punch that already hurt you. They both decide to bring it. Bishop's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into Hayes is stunned and staggered. Big shot there. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Oh, a damaging left hook by Keyshawn Hayes gets to Andre Bishop. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that. Hayes is damaged by a right hand. He gets off with a combination up top. Oh, and there you go. Hayes is unable to stand up to that combination. up after that punch put him down on the canvas now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy bishop's right hand working well that time he scored well a battering ram of a hook by hayes he is so dangerous with that left hook to the body and this time he adds the right hand on the back end hits him in the mug with the right and the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Hayes is coming off a round in which he was shook up really bad. He hit the canvas again. He needs things to change. Lands a big hook. This is becoming like a crime scene here. Hayes' DNA is splattered throughout that ring. And you know it's going to influence the fight, not only where maybe he gets a little discouraged, he gets a little down, but maybe his opponent, and this is a big maybe, maybe he gets a little careless now going in there for the kill. And maybe that could be an opportunity for him. Oh, a good right hand, big shot, the left crashed home. Hayes is making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. He is damaged badly there. He, there it is! Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. So Andre Bishop comes to Atlantic City and hits the jackpot. A knockout win against Keyshawn Hayes. Bishop. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. 
I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but... <laughs> He's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for a much-anticipated main event. The stage is set. Now the spotlight falls on the unbeaten, hot-rising prospect, Andre Bishop, as he takes his first major step up in facing middleweight contender, Ricardo Alvarez. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. What does the jab offer him here? Victory. It's as simple as that. And it sure is. Side to side. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. And now he scores with that left to the body. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Very nice defensive guard there. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Yeah, that's it. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. We're underway here. We've been talking in the lead up to this fight about who has the advantage with the speed. Well, we know who that is. As for his opponent? Well, his opponent's going to have to come up with something else. And what he's going to have to come up with is timing. You know, timing can negate speed. How so? Well, just making sure that before your opponent starts, you time him. You beat him to the mark. You're not as fast as him, but guess what? The good news, this is not a sprint. This is a boxing match. You can beat him to the mark. Andre Bishop is in a bad, solid. Andre Bishop rushed by that power punch. Bishop is down. One, two, three. Bishop's kick. The judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. Queen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Bishop's opponent is not seeing the damaged goods he was opposite of in the last round. This is a different fighter starting this round right here. It's okay, let's go!
uppercut by Andre Bishop. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good flush shot upstairs. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Good looking two punch combination there. Teddy, something's got to change defensively because this guy's getting tagged consistently. Yeah, one of the things, he's got to start moving his head. Solid left hand to the head. That's what I like to see. <laughs> That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Andre Bishop. And he returns on that exchange. Watch that. Don't stand, don't you go with this guy. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Fires right back at him. Well placed, well timed Keep combo up top. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Don't stay in one spot. Solid left. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Scored well up top. Keep working the job. Gotta see that come in. Let's go. You had to see it to believe it the first two minutes of these rounds. Now these fighters are trying to make everybody. And bang, and away he goes. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Bishop beats the count, but how does he look to you? He looks like a guy who's wondering what happened, and that's where the job of the corner comes in when he gets back to the corner. Tell him why he got hit. Move! Move! Well, this is why a corner gets paid. Andre Bishop back with Gus Carisi after being knocked down in that round. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Teddy, I think he's going to go. And yet another big shot comes in. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Eleven and zero. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. I thought they were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move.
evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trains. The word of two decorated.